Hey friends, thank you for clicking onto this video and hanging out with me. I think it's a good one. I think we're gonna have fun today. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Mia. I make videos about DIYs, plants, not that much else. I live a very varied lifestyle as you can tell. And if you've been here before, thank you for clicking. It's nice to see you again. I always appreciate it. Okay. So let me not ramble too much. What we're doing today, I'm just gonna show you some easy and really Bro, can I go a sentence without swearing? <laughs> YouTube algorithm, I'm trying, okay? Can you appreciate the effort? Back to the point, I always seem to lose it. So what we're doing is just gonna be showing you some fun ways to display plants around your home. And because it's me, a lot of them are gonna be crafty as well. There are two versions of this video. One of them is the short version and it's just like inspiration, cute things, woo woo. And the long version is inspiration, cute things, and then a tutorial on how to make it in one handy place. So check down below for which version you're in i'm not making a different intro to both of them anyways that's it i hope you enjoy this video if you do like subscribe drop a comment all that wonderful stuff and let's get into it our first idea is to display hanging plants in thrifted bird cages i love how vintage and cottagey this looks plus i picked up this bird cage at a street festival when those were still a thing sometimes i look at it and remember what freedom tasted like uh moving on idea two is a personal favorite of mine you take cuttings of plants pop them into water and have them on display if you have any fancy alcohol bottles this is a great way to repurpose them if you're familiar with my channel or website, idea 3 will be of no surprise to you. It's a super cute and easy way to display plants in the home, and that's just to have a dedicated plant cabinet. Especially if you're a fellow lover of rare plants, I cannot recommend this idea enough. Um, the tutorial for this cabinet is linked up top if you want to check it out. And idea 4 is yet another cheeky self promo. I mean, this video is like literally a self promo. Uh, moving on. Idea 4 is a winner, you can upcycle an old photo frame into a functional and yet cute trellis for your climbing plants. It's actually a great gallery wall addition too. I'm sure you guys are no stranger to number 5 on my list, which is propagation walls. These are such a fun way to show off your plants, especially if you've run out of room on the floor, which happens to the best of us. Again, tutorial for this bad boy is up top. Now idea six is a really fun one that you can get creative with and that is terrariums. There are so many quirky ways to incorporate terrariums too. People make tables out of them or stick crystals in them. I personally really love moss terrariums. Give me some time and I'm sure we'll be seeing a tutorial on my channel for those. If you fancy a real project, try making this chic faux marble plant stand. It's a surprisingly easy IKEA hack and again, just a really stunning way to show off your plants. Now, number eight may be slightly cheating, but nobody specified this is how to display live plants. It's my video, I can do what I like. So, you can preserve dried flowers in DIY herbariums and dot them around your home. How cute, am I right? Back to the live plants though. If you want to get really creative with plants, try heading to your local thrift store and finding something cool to rework into a planter. And my tenth idea is very, very practical. Do you have a home office? Well, why not make yourself a notice board that drops walls up as a trellis? Another fun way to use this craft is actually as a dried flower rack as well. For the bohemians out there, this next one is for you. I love to use crystals as air plant holders. These are really easy to make, they're easy to care for, and they look stunning. Anthropology, eat your heart out. Idea 12 is another fun air plant idea. Just stick them in artist mannequins. You can spray them whatever colour fits your decor scheme. And our last idea is super adorable. You can upcycle old bottles and corks to make mini succulent planters. It's actually from my video on completely free DIY gift ideas. Yes, yes, you should go check that out. Of, of course, I've linked it up top. Go on. Have a little have a little watch and that's it thank you guys so much for watching again if you want the tutorials for all of these they've been pretty much linked up top i'll put the links in the descriptions or you can watch the long version of this video and that has the tutorials built in but that's it have a good rest of your day bye